Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Blood Elf questline in patch 9.2.5 which rewards a transmog set, a new polearm transmog and a mount. But before we jump into that guys I just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, patch 9.2.5, 10.0 alpha beta and more over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Okay so patch 9.2.5 brings us some brand new racial questlines for the Blood Elf and the Dark Iron Dwarves. Now I did do a video on the Dark Iron Dwarves if you do want to check out that quest line and all the rewards for that. But today we are going to look at the Blood Elf quest line. So, what are the requirements for this brand new quest line? So, first and foremost, be a Blood Elf. Be a level 60 Blood Elf is the first requirement for this quest. Uh, next, you're going to need to get exalted with Silver Moon City. Now, if you're not already exalted, with Silvermoon City, you could just pick up a Silvermoon City tabard and run the Mechanar a couple times, and that will get you exalted pretty quick. So once you're level 60 and exalted with Silvermoon, you will be able to pick up this quest. Now, if you're a Blood Elf Paladin, you will actually get extra rewards from this quest, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And you don't actually have to do the previous Blood Elf Heritage Armor quest line uh, for this quest to appear. So just simply level 60 and exalted, and the quest will appear. And the quest will appear in Ouroboros with Lady Leandrin. She'll be located by the portals in Ouroboros and have a brand new quest called Summons from the Matriarch. This is a simple quest that just wants Lady Deandrin to meet her in Silvermoon. Now obviously the quickest way to Silvermoon through the Ogrimmon portal and then of course through the portal through to Silvermoon. Of course you can't fly there so you just have to run over to the Hall of Blood and you'll see some familiar faces who we haven't seen in a little bit. Now once you hand that in you'll get a new quest called Briefing. Now there is a lot of RP here and voice acting and good story. Uh, I'm not going to go through it in detail here because you know it'll be a 40 minute video. It is a 40 minute quest. Uh, kind of door to door as such it took me about 40 minutes uh, just kind of playing through it um, but yeah there is a lot of dialogue and a lot of kind of lore here which is really good and definitely worth sitting through uh, if you're into that kind of thing including an appearance from an old character from the children's week back in Burning Crusade which I think is a really cool little reference there. So once the RP for briefing is finished you'll get a new quest called Tranquillion Besieged. It's a pretty simple quest and all you got to do is take the portal to Tranquillion which will appear after the RP has finished and you simply take that and you'll be ported over to the Ghostlands. Once you get to the Ghostlands, you'll notice that it is overthrown with Scourge, uh, which is actually pretty cool. And that is kind of the main theming of this quest. And it is the Scourge being out of control because there is no Lich King, which I think is a really cool story to tell. So once you've run through the Scourge with Lady Leandrin, you'll be inside the inn in Tranquillion with these familiar faces we saw a moment ago. So once you've handed in Tranquillion Besiege, you'll get a new quest called Death to the Scourge. This is a quest to kill 15 Scourge in Tranquillion. And you'll see another quest pop up from Aethys Sunreaver just behind her there and this is a simple quest to help Aethys and Romaf set up some defenses in Tranquillion. So once you leave this area obviously just go out and kill 15 Scourge and go to the defensive. There's different protective wards in the zone. There are three of them in total and you have to run up to them and right click them and uh, basically activate them. Once you activate them, Volrath will appear and, and Volrath is a sand lane. Yeah, a sand lane. Do you remember the sand lane from Wrath of the Lich King? Yeah, he is a new character. I believe he's from Hearthstone originally and he's actually come over to World of Warcraft now, which is actually really cool. And you simply just got to kill him there, but he does say see you soon and laugh, which is really interesting. So you continue to kill Scourge on your way over. Uh, as I said, you just got to kill 15. Very easy to do. And get to the next protective crystal, activate that and Volrath will appear again. Yeah, it appears he has defied death here. So once you've done that, killed him again, you want to run over to the third crystal and the same thing happens again. He appears, does his little mind flay. You kill him and he dies once again for the third time. So after doing these quests, head back to the inn, hand them in and you'll get a new quest called a knight's weapon. And this is to collect a Ransur from upstairs in Tranquillion, which I think will be able to kill Volrath as he is defeating death at this point. So you head upstairs, pick up the Ransur, you'll be attacked by eyes of Volrath, uh, simply just kill those, head back downstairs and hand in the quest. Now this is where Lady Leandrin has a plan to empower the Ransur with the power of the Shadowlands. So you have two brand new quests here that pop up. That is the Honest Heart and an Unbreakable Will. Now the first quest an honest heart is for you to head over to Bastion to empower the Ransor there. 
And the other quest in Unbreakable Will is to head over to the Theatre of Pain in Maldraxxus to empower it with the power of the Maldraxxi as well. So we want to empower it with the power of the Kyrian and the power of the Maldraxxi so we can kill Volrath for good. So simply there, there is a portal to Ogrima in Tranquillion. So you're going to head there and obviously then head to Ouroboros and make your way over to Bastion or Maldraxxus. You can make a choice here which one you want to do first. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. It makes no difference here. So we'll go over the Bastion one first. The Bastion one is in the southern part of the zone and you want to seek out Vandalore. Now Vandalore does have some lore with him and if you're a lore nerd, you... Uh, you know, you can pick up on that, but I'm not going to go through that. This is not a lore video. So yeah, uh, Vandalore is involved in this quest. And what Vandalore wants you to do is run an honest race. Yep, there's a little race part of this quest. Uh, pretty easy to do, honestly. Uh, once you start the race, all you got to do is run and click the bells. Uh, once you have five stacks of the bell buff, you can finish the race by going to where you started it and meditating on the scroll and that will complete the quest and you would have won the race. A little bit weird, but you know, it's a little bit of fun, a little bit uh, different to kind of kill loot repeat. So yeah, a little, little bit of fun there. And once that's done, Vandalore will empower the Ransor for you and you can head to Maldraxxus for the next part of the quest, uh, which is an unbreakable will. Once you head to the Theater of Pain, you're gonna speak to Fight Lord San and Fight Lord San will essentially say that you have to prove your strength to Fight Lord San to get the Ransor empowered. So once you accept the quest, unfair fight, you want to head upstairs uh, with the dialogue box and yeah, it's all an elaborate ruse. It's all, you've been duped, you've been duped and you're not actually going to fight Fight Lord San, you're going to fight Frisson, uh, which is a pretty easy fight here. It's not too bad, you know, it's just a quest fight, isn't it? It's just going to be easy. And once you defeat Frisson, you head back downstairs, hand in the quest uh, to fight Lord San and he'll empower your Ransor with the power of the Maldraxxi. And Salandria will have a brand new quest once again to return to the Ghostlands. So here you just want to head back to the Ghostlands. It is a little bit of an annoying journey, but there is some shortcuts. Uh, you can obviously just go to Ogrima, take the portal to Silvermoon, and if you head to the Hall of Blood again, that Tranquillion portal will still be there uh, to save you the kind of flight path down down from Silvermoon. Uh, but once you finally make it to Tranquillion, uh, you get a brand new quest called I Am the Blade of the Light. And this is where you have to use the Empowered Ransor to slay Scourge on the Dead Scar. And this is actually a really cool quest. Uh, you want to head over to the Hawk Strider. And once you mount the Hawk Strider, this is essentially mounted combat. So you can actually use all of your regular spells here uh, like you normally would, but also use the extra action button to do kind of a cool Ransor AoE. And uh, you have to fill the bar here by killing Scourge on the Death Scar, as well as Volrath, who is uh, kind of popping up here and there. Uh, pretty simple quest and kind of fun, but you want to start making your way down south while doing this. Uh, so you can hand it in to Lady Leandrin. And Lady Leandrin will give you a brand new quest again called Justice Long Overdue. And this will reward the Vel Touch Ransor, which is the model of the Ransor that you've been using throughout the quest. And this is a transmogable item and is transmogable for other races as well. This is a cool golden polearm transmog, which is rewarded from doing this quest, which is really cool. And that is available to everybody that can obviously use a polearm. So here you just got to kill Volrath. So you head in as a group to attack Volrath. The fight here used to just be Mind Flay, like it was a vanilla boss, but now it's a little bit more complicated and there's a few more abilities here, uh, which do make it fun, some interrupts and things like that. Uh, not difficult by any stretch, but definitely uh, a bit of fun there. But once uh, Volrath is killed, you have to use the uh, Ransor to stab him and kind of put the final blow to him, but unfortunately that is not enough. And Volrath will return as a big skeletal boy. And it's pretty cool, pretty little fun fight there. Again, I just gotta attack him there and take him down as a skeletal kind of crow thing. Pretty simple fight once again, similar mechanics to the previous one. And once that's done, you can hand in uh, just as long overdue and get the brand new Void Touch Ransor Transmog. And once that's all done, you get a brand new quest called Blood Knight. Now this is where the Blood Elf Paladin cut stuff comes in. Uh, if you're a Blood Elf Paladin, you will get an ensemble for a Blood Knight's dedication. This is a brand new Transmog set which is a recolor of the Antorus set for Paladins. So this is a red recolor of the Antorus set and this is available only to Blood Elf Paladins that do this quest. So if you're not a Blood Elf Paladin, you will not receive this brand new transmog. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool looking transmog and kind of fun for a little, you know, a little bit of uh, flair there if you are a Blood Elf Paladin. The other reward is actually a brand new mount as well called the Elusive Emerald Hawk Strider, which is a new recolor of the standard Hawk Strider mount. And this is available to Blood Elves and other Horde races. So you can use this Hawk Strider uh, throughout all of your Horde characters. And as I said, it's, it's a new color in the sense that this has not been used before, but I don't don't think it's actually brand new. I don't think they've made it from scratch, uh, but alas, it's a, a new mount nonetheless. So for this quest, you just got to head back over to Silver Moon City and speak to Lady Leandrin 
uh, once again for the final time. A little bit of RP will play, a little bit of, you know, Silverman City icons will pop up. Some more text and voice signs will happen again. You know, when you play this through on uh, retail, it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely have the audio on. Uh, a lot of interesting little tidbits and hints towards the future here as well, which is really great. So that is the Blood Elf questline of patch 9.2.5. Do let me know what you think of this questline. I think it's really cool. I was really intrigued and interested in the fact that they use so much voice lines and so many kind of scripted events and it was really in depth and a lot more in depth than the Dark Iron quest line and obviously kind of hinting towards the future of World of Warcraft beyond potentially even Dragonfly at this point. So, but yeah, we're gonna have to see what happens there. So guys, let me know down below what you think of this quest line. Personally, I think it's really cool and I think it's really uh, interesting. And as I said, you know, a lot of fun. It would be cool if you could get a different weapon transmog or more weapon transmogs like the, uh, you know, like the guards use in Silvermoon or something like that would have been kind of fun. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a little bit of fun for Blood Elves uh, if you're exalted with Silvermoon City. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. You want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, Patch 9.2.5, 10.0 Alpha Beta, Wrath Lich King Beta, and more over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.